How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with another review. A little bit of Saison hopeful goodness in the form of Blackberry Farms Classic Saison. Um, yeah, um, uh, Blackberry Farms, they actually um, just hit my area. Um, just about the time they hit my area, just kind of creeped in. I was lucky enough to get a care package from the brewery. Thank you very much, guys. And, uh, yeah, they threw me a three-spotter of beers. And uh, this is the last one I'm going into. Usually I dive into the Saison first if I uh, if I have a uh, assortment of beers from a kind of funky saison type brewery. But I'm seeing this one for last. Don't know why. Words. Anyway, as far as what it says on this bottle, it says Classic Saison, a farmhouse ale. Uh, it says Artisan Crafted by Blackberry Farm in a beautiful uh, Walland, Tennessee. Um, let's see, this medium bodied Saison pours with a, a voluptuous head and releases bright notes of lemon and crisp, spicy hop aroma. Finishes clean and dry. Um, yeah, that'd be that. Tennessee born and bred. Let's see, all offerings of our Saison family feature a base of floor malted barley, a rustic patient approach, working with unique dry phenolic and fruity yeast strain, yields a wide variety of complex flavors. Serve at 45 to 55. This is about 53 degrees. There you go. Label-wise, it's cool, classy, to the point. A little scribbling, little hand writing that's going on right there. But yeah, label-wise, cool. I love the texture of their labels. Is this kind of like a kind of slightly kind of a, what's that when you get cards linen, like kind of linen-like in texture? Let's see what this has. Let's see if this cork wants to come out. She kind of wants to come out. Not too crazy. So, does that indicate there's going to be an overt amount of funkiness? Not so much funkiness? Too much funkiness? I don't think there's such thing, but, eh. Usually when they really want to come out, you're talking about something that's been kind of toiling around and it's bits and pieces and trying to uh, impart this and that and the other. You know what I mean? Basically, you have all these different kind of wild cultures can go kind of... Uh, up, down, or sideways. So, you know, whether or not the cork wants to pine fly out is not really indicative of how the beer is going to be. I've had Belgians that popped out. I've had Belgians that the cork could, didn't even want to come out that are undercarbonated. Anyway, index finger, rocky creaminess. Pretty big bubbles on the edges, but then in the center, it's kind of like pretty tight stuff. And she's got a subtle haze to her. Nothing too crazy. Very like, um, very ginger ale, like a hazy ginger ale in color in the ever so slightest bit of carbonation. Nothing too crazy at all. In any form or fashion, so see me get a nose on her. <sighs> that smells pretty good, to be perfectly honest with you. A nice funkiness to it. There is a funk there. It's almost like a slightly wild, maybe slightly light, kind of Brett kind of funkiness. I don't think there's Brett in here. I believe they would have mentioned that. I think it's just a generic kind of <sighs> saison yeast that just lends itself to a little bit more hay, a little bit more funkiness. Nice sweetness to it, nothing too crazy. And your classic kind of yeastiness in there, spiciness, a little bit of pepperiness, nothing too crazy. Maybe a little black peppercorn, maybe a little bit of kind of coriander, something like that. So she smells the part of a Saison. She looks the part of a Saison. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Classic to a T. It's got a nice, clean, dry finish. A little bit of lingering spices going there, but relatively clean. That spiciness is pretty big. Um, it's giving you almost like a palate smacking dryness combined with that kind of spiciness and dryness. It's almost kind of pseudo barrel age kind of going on in there. Or pseudo oak going on in there. Nice sweetness to it. Um, kind of like, what kind of sweetness is there? Kind of like sweet tarty, kind of like a powdery, kind of refined, kind of sugary sweetness. But nowhere near overly sweet. Just that, that really spicy um, yeastiness, that really spicy Saison base is kind of leading the way in this one. Which, honestly, when I drink Saisons, that's kind of like one of my favorite things to be impactful about them. That funk that I got in the nose is not nearly as big as I thought it would be based off of the nose. It's still kind of there, but it's underlying. It's more just kind of that kind of powdery sweetness combined with that kind of um, subtle funkiness underneath it but at the top you get that kind of peppery spiciness that uh, just makes it um, 
Live up to its name, classic Cezanne. It tastes exactly like what I expect an American-born Cezanne to kind of taste like. It tastes very wheat grain fieldy as opposed to kind of fruit fieldy or, or any kind of like European style like um, more fruity esters, things like that. More, more kind of wheat grain field yeastiness as opposed to anything else. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better seasons I've had as of late. That's pretty freaking good. Honestly, like I said, these guys hit the shelves right before I got these beers and they hit the shelves at supermarkets. Usually when, when that happens, um, as opposed to your, like, local niche bottle shops, there's typically, like, kind of, like, a kind of moniker to them, that are, or a, whatever that word you want to use is, is a, um, or kind of typecast as, like, oh, just a generic kind of, oh, shelfy kind of beer. But um, all three were pretty fantastic. The Barrel Age one, who would have thunk it, was my favorite out of the bunch, but really good stuff all around. Um, value and availability, again, I don't know. Um, you know, hopefully in a perfect world, it's somewhere between ten to fifteen dollars for a seven fifty. Do we live in a perfect world? I don't know. Hopefully that's the case. Will you see this? If you see their base stuff, I think this is actually their base flagship beer, just because it's the one I've actually seen on the shelves the most. So take that for what it's worth. If you see their stuff, chances are you can get this. And just say if you like what well, we like this. If you just like season, um, honestly, I mean, it, what you're getting here is is a no. I don't want to say no frills because it's absolutely tasty. But it's your base, classic, well-made saison, and that is not a negative. It is a positive. Sometimes you just want a good, well-tasting beer, and you want something true to style, and that's where this is. True to the American style, a little bit different than what you get from overseas, but true nonetheless. So there you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers. All four of those places if you want to check us out anywhere else. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice classic saison right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>